now this leads to our next topic that is performance tuning very important topic very important for experienced dbas but of course the topic is endless and we can continue to talk on the topic for like x number of time so what we'll do is guys will i'll try to make it as interactive as possible because we need to understand what makes a query run slow now for performance tuning if you see guys what is the goal when it comes to performance tuning that is very important to understand and i'm surprised like whenever i take interviews a lot of uh, candidates they fail to answer this question like what are the tuning goals and uh, what things make a sql query run slow so let us start with our first question what do you think what might make a query run slow data increase mm -hmm. no index mm -hmm. okay choosing of wrong index okay by optimizer mm -hmm. uh, maybe statics uh, statistics are not accurate mm -hmm. okay long runner sorry simon i said long runner query insert or update okay mm -hmm. come on guys uh, think out of the box and just uh, don't limit your thinking to uh, things and, in the uh, database too many users at the same time mm -hmm. logs on dead logs mm -hmm. great for application design uh, or um, tables that are not uh, properly normalized perfect great and i'm just trying to understand some more examples from you guys what might be the other issues that might cause a database to run the queries very slow some kind of uh, table joins okay In inefficient io utilization okay and great you go, you all guys are going great so still continue i mean if you have more ideas continue raj contention in execution plan changing mm -hmm. great and wrong commands uh wrong commands will uh, definitely throw an error saying like it's wrong but okay uh, our question is when you hit enter the query is running and running and running and running but not giving any output so what could cause the query to run let's take a query is taking 5 minutes today and tomorrow it's taking 55 minutes so that's a problem right there should be a problem somewhere uh, it's it's not, not that that's it, it there could also be in that dick space it could also be from the sga that uh, some of the parameters they are not properly sized correct great and Good. I think a bad SQL return. If someone written bad SQL, uh, that would be most impact. Right, right, amazing. Next, query based on unindexed uh, columns and uh, joins. Uh, hard, hard passes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if someone uh, made any significant uh, data to this, stats are not gathered, means still it might be using old stats and it might take. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Database buffers are less, query buffers are less. Mm -hmm. Okay. So most of the examples that you gave, uh, like I would accept, but some of them were vague and not at all related to performance tuning. And you will understand it slowly because I'll be walking you through uh, how. Okay, first we'll define how or what exactly is performance tuning. Then I should uh, or I will walk you through the performance tuning steps, like uh, in a technical or a real world, how performance tuning is done and what is the iterative process. 
So guys, at the core of perform performance tuning is you need to understand there are only two goals in performance tuning. There is no third or fourth goal, okay? Now, there might be some books or blogs that will misguide you, but there are only two goals. And if you are a great DBA, and if you know how to work or fix those two goals, then you know the entire performance tuning. I'm kind of like simplifying things for you, for all of you because because in this session, definitely we can't look at the entire performance tuning. So the performance tuning goal that we have is there are only two performance tuning goals. It is to reduce the response time and to improve the throughput. This is something like might be some new terms for you, but I'll come, come to this in some time. So guys, why did we look at database locks before performance tuning? The reason was for you to understand whenever there is a performance issue or a query is running slow, it is not always to do with the performance tuning. There might be issue with the database locks or there might be issue with disk is 100% full. So I'll show you one example. <clears throat> so sometimes what happens is so we have more 10 minutes to go. All right. Sometimes your disk where your Oracle home is installed, it is 100% full. So whenever a user is complaining that my query is taking more time, don't right away start your performance tuning uh, activity. Uh, or don't right away jump into uh, generating reports and looking at the performance statistics. There might be some other issues also, okay? So what you need to do is whenever a user is complaining, you need to debug it in a way that makes sense to you. Because see, a user might tell like, hey, every day my query runs uh, smoothly, but today it's taking more time. At this stage, you need to make sure you are asking the time difference, like how much time your query takes generally. And they might say like, it takes two minutes. And today, how much time is it taking to run? And um, they might say four minutes. What you can do is you can look at your database and see whether some activities were going on. Was there any data load that was going on inside the database that caused heavy usage of database instance? And that definitely ha will have a small impact on the queries. So for the performance tuning, the biggest problem right now in front of DBAs is that people just complain, but they don't know like how much time the query used to take earlier or what is the performance benchmark? I think that's the correct term. So what happens is like uh, for uh, in, a, in a banking sector, uh, definitely you cannot have one minute wait time for your clients. Technically these days, one minute is huge. So you can't even have uh, like uh, 10 seconds of wait time for the customers. So these all are like performance benchmarks. So what happens is when you work with clients, you define some performance benchmarks. Okay, every SQL that run inside the database uh, or any SQL that is querying a table, it should not exceed um, the time range between five to 10 seconds. So that way it, it makes your life easy as a DBA. Okay, there is a benchmark and uh, any query that's taking above 10, uh, 10 seconds, that means uh, we are failing to deliver the SLA. And, and that's when what happens is as a DBA, you need to tune the SQL. So before you directly jump into the performance tuning activities, don't try to take out all the uh, big weapons. Sometimes the issues might be resolved with small weapons also. All right. So that being said, Performance tuning, again, uh, let's come back to the fundamentals. Uh, like what are the two main goals of performance tuning? In performance tuning, the first goal that you might have is to reduce, reduce response time. And looks like my pen tab is not responding correctly. 
and the second one will be improve the throughput improve throughput right guys apologies if i make any <laughs> spelling mistakes now what are these two goals this is something you need to understand forget about what tool and how you will resolve the problem that is secondary first understand the tuning goals there are always any any problem can be drilled down to these two goals like a query is taking a lot of time to execute okay let's let us assume okay there is a query that's taking five seconds to execute all right now in this case <clears throat> how can we reduce it from five seconds to maybe one second so this is a tuning goal this is a goal in terms of reducing the response time that means earlier database was taking five seconds to give the output now the database is giving one second uh, uh, taking one second to give the output that is reducing the response time and the second one is to improve the throughput let's take uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, inside the database, what happens is you have a lot of things going on that is counted as cost. You'll understand about cost in some time. So any resource or any kind of work that is being done inside the database that will be counted as a cost because it costs resources inside the server. Now you might say what type of costs uh, are there? One simple example is CPU. And of course there are other costs inside the database, but the primary, uh, primary cost that we have to work on is to improve the throughput. That means can we improve our database in a way that reduces the CPU usage and still gives us the uh, query result in the same time right i'll repeat myself can we reduce the different types of resources or primarily we work on the cpu uh, and what we do is we tend to reduce the cpu usage for a particular query these are the two primary tuning goals uh, anywhere uh, inside the oracle database now i'll give you a example all right, uh, let's take you ran a query and the query is uh, earlier it used to take uh, one second and now it's taking uh, maybe 10 minutes, right? This is a great example of uh, uh, like a poor performing query and, and you are supposed to work on reducing the response time, right? Now in this case, what happens is uh, you need to look at the root cause and then your goal is to reduce the response time, correct? Makes sense, perfectly fine. In this case, we have to move back and get the query to, uh, I mean, to take only one second to execute. This is a performance goal when this kind of issue occurs. But now I'm giving you another completely different scenario. You have a query that takes one second and now it is taking 10 minutes all right and then what happened is you, when you try to work on the database you you found out that there was armand backups running in the backend of course now you guys can argue like arun you said armand backups do not have performance impact on the database of course it doesn't have but armen has a impact on the cpu Remember guys, I mentioned one channel equal to one CPU. So sometimes what happens, let's take your server is having four CPUs. Then what will happen in that scenario? If you are allocating all four, or sorry, if you are allocating four channels in an Armin backup, that means you are heavily using the CPU. And in this case, what happens is CPU usage on the server goes up and definitely that impacts the SQLs on the server. So understand there were two problems, two people reported these different problems. Scenario is exactly same. The query used to take one second, now it is taking 10 minutes. Now in this case, your tuning goal should definitely be to reduce the response time. Of course, of course in both the cases, your goal is to reduce the response time. 
but in the second case your goal will be to improve the throughput like improve the cpu do we increase uh, the number of cpus or do we schedule the arm and backups at a different time so depending on the problem you need to change your strategy it's not always directly jumping into and tuning the sql listen to this carefully guys always in performance tuning and i i don't know how many times i have listened this from the dbas sql is not the only problem if it is running slow sql is one part of the problem that means there are so many things attached to a sql that that makes the sql run slow all right now our next goal is to understand all these things what makes an sql query run slow most of the times i see some dbas if a user is complaining as i mentioned earlier they will right away start with their biggest weapon by creating performance reports and right away jumping into the finding the solution definitely uh, there is not always it's a problem with the sql and don't directly jump in tuning the sql there might be other issues there might be issues with the cpu or you might need to look at other stuff inside the server so the two main goals that you need to know in tuning is most of the times it's your job is to reduce the time between query issued and the response time or the next tuning goal might be to improve the throughput where you reduce the number of resources that are being used in order to process the sql statement and one of the most important cost factor or the thing that you need to look at is cpu of course there are more but <clears throat> the main and the most important one is cpu so this takes us or leads us to one important topic that is what are the different steps that you need to follow when there is a problem inside the server